Hey everybody and welcome to the King of Shadows YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your King of Shadows YouTube reading. So I just finished the reading for the Queen of Light 1111 YouTube channel and it was for the full moon in Gemini. And what I wanted to do in that reading was take a look at masculine and feminine energies on today's full moon and also look at the energy of the connection. Now, remember, if you've watched that reading, the bottom of the deck for their connection was that, you know, it's time to give rather than take, right? We have the energy of victory over this five of swords, right? Over this energy of conflict, defeat, sneakiness. And if you look, there's three people. Nobody wins. Nobody wins in third party situations. Nobody wins in that energy. And so now there is this life source. There is this energy of knowledge that both masculine and feminine have gained as they're coming into alignment. So for this specific reading, what I wanted to do was take a look at the masculine's karmic cycles because we did see that the karmic cycles are have ended for him, okay? And we have that five of swords, which is any third-party situations, any karmic cycles, any karmic relationships or attachments or behaviors are ending or have ended. So I'm doing this particular reading in two parts. I'm doing it for these first two cards here are for the karmic connections, meaning significant romantic relationships um, that, you know, maybe uh, have affected your connection, okay? Then I'm doing one that is third party and my definition, okay, this is my definition. So don't everybody get all caught up like, oh, Queen of Light, a karmic is blah, blah, blah. No, I don't care. <laughs> this is the way I am defining um, the third party. The third party is if it's family, if it's friends, if it's work, things like that. So in this specific reading, I'm going over masculine's energy towards a karmic relationship, a person that he may be with or was with, etc. And then this would be like friends, family, job, you know, something like that. Okay. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Now I am doing um, a special on my Queen of Light 1111 website, okay? It is a special for this full moon. For those of you who have been waiting for a sale, my Twin Flame Energy Check-In video reading is 10% off today through Friday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to book your own reading, have a video reading done, one that you can watch, you know, you know, a few times over or more, as many times as you want. If you want a video reading, then book that today at queenoflight1111.com, 10% off. Okay, bottom of the deck for both, okay? I just used one, I only took one card. I didn't split it up for, for either. So the theme for this karmic cycle reading, the theme for the third party reading is you're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. So this is interesting. Um, so close to achieving your goal, right? So this, this energy on this full moon in Gemini is all about the energy of masculine completing his goal. The goal is to end or completely cut the final um, cords to any sort of karmic cycle, karmic connection. Um, you know, so he's very much in this energy where things are coming to a peak. Okay, it's like he just knows that whatever he's doing just can't continue anymore. Any behaviors that he's displaying or acting on just can't continue anymore. Okay, it's an energy where he knows that he must make an adjustment if he wants some a connection or a life or a journey that is in more alignment. So this card is very much about, I need to be on track. I need to stay focused. Okay. So what does this mean for the karmic? Look at this five of swords. So Queen of Light 1111 video today. 
absolutely accurate. Yeah, karmic cycles are ending. He's in this energy of making adjustments because this conflict, this defeat, this sneakiness energy with this karmic partner needs to end. And so we have the King of Wands that clarifies that. And I feel like that's the energy of him standing in the energy of being a leader and a visionary and finally getting into his bravery to just do it. Just take the leap of faith forward and have an ending, right? Just adjust it because he knows no one is ever gonna win. No one's ever gonna win in this karmic connection. It is just fraught with sneakiness, deceit, misalignment. So his energy towards the karmic, we see, show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is the um, star sign in tarot. So this is an energy, it's like he needs to prepare himself to move on. So this connection is taking a very unexpected turn. He is in this energy where he's preparing to move on. And here it is. He's making the decision. He's planning to, you know, three of swords. There's, there's grief. There's grief. Maybe he's ending a marriage. He's ending a relationship that maybe there's children, siblings, pets involved. And it's time, Jupiter, it's time for things to change. It's time for a turning point. So for him, it's this energy is I got to be, I have to connect to my true self now. That's what we've all learned in the journey. We've got to connect to our true selves now. I have to connect to my alignment. So I'm planning this message or communication of grief, of sadness. Maybe there's some betrayal and maybe there's kids involved, but things need to change because neither one of them is living in their truth. So the energy of this kar karmic connection is confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. And by the way, the bottom of the deck where we got the king of wands, that's the energy of Leo Sagittarius or Aries. So here we have confidence is the key to success. New moon in Leo. So when this card comes out, this is that energy for their connection where it's like, hey, it's time. It's time to take charge it's time for a new cycle so the energy of the connection is he's finding his purpose look at this they're both walking away from this connection they're double checking to make sure that you know they've done everything that they need to do you know and they're communicating this communication didn't i say the communication is Grief, heartbreak, sadness. This connection's ending or it's ended. Eight of Cups says, I'm walking away. I'm walking away from being patient. I can no longer be patient anymore. I am walking away from this connection. I have taken a closer look. I have done a deep dive. And now it's time to talk about whether it's splitting the assets or how we're going to divvy up the dog or whatever it is. It's time. It's time. He's... He, they're both in this energy where they know it's not going to work out. The other thing I'm kind of getting is perhaps there was a betrayal. Maybe someone was unfaithful somehow in some way, but it very much feels like, okay, well, maybe this karmic connection wasn't ending. And then that third party energy, whether it was a job or another person or whatever, got in the way so that they can have a little bit of distance to see the forest through the street, trees, see the mind games, right? Where do we get that energy? I feel like we got that energy somewhere, that illusion. Oh, right here for masculine. This is in the connection, right? He's been tied to these karmic cycles. He's been in this head trip. He's been in this confusion. And now he's seeing that. And so he sees here, in this connection, in this karmic cycle, that you know what? I was under some sort of illusion. I'm in grief. You're in grief. Nobody's happy. It's time to walk away. So the energy towards this third party situation, maybe it's someone that they were casually talking to. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's friends or family. Very close to achieving his goal. Well, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. The chariot, look at this, the well, 
and the albatross. So what I'm really getting for this energy is that, you know, he's very close to achieving his goal. Perhaps there was this abundance and this legacy and this long-term connection that he wanted to move towards. So maybe this was a job. Maybe this was the energy of, I'm going to work so hard and we're going to have money and abundance and we're going to do everything. But he's seeing that that's not what I wanted. That doesn't emotionally fulfill me. All it does is it creates burden and it creates shame. If this was a casual connection, he's starting to see that, you know what? I want to have a long-term relationship. I want to move forward in mastery, but do I want it with this person? Because all I keep doing is reliving the same curse and guilt and shame over and over and over again. So he just keeps trying to recreate the energy of the feminine over and over, and he's not able to do it. So his energy towards the third party is, what do I need to release? So his energy is, I can't keep doing this. This is the same energy. This is the same person or, you know, a different person, but the same sort of energy. Right? So what do I need to release? I need to release this behavior that keeps attracting the same type of woman, same type of job, same type of behavior within me. It's the waning moon. So this is this energy. He's like, I need to let go. I need to let go of this situation. I need to also not only let release my karmic, but I also need to release this behavior that I'm potentially displaying in other connections. And here's the sadness again. And I feel like this situation affected the karmic situation, which then the karmic situation then affected the twin flame situation. And he's finally starting to see that this is not my Ten of Cups either. This is not my happily ever after either. I have been running. I run from karmic to third party, from my divine feminine to another cycle. I need to learn how to be alone. I need to learn how to be independent. I need to learn how and what I need to do to make myself happy and confident. So what's the energy of the connection between this third party and masculine? Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. So when this card comes out, this is all about the energy of focus. What is it that you want? You have to dig deeper within yourself to find the courage. And what is the courage? To communicate with the Queen of Wands. Okay, watch this, people. Where's the bottom of the deck? The King of Wands for the karmic situation. So what he's done is what I suspect is the Queen of Wands is the karmic. He tried to run from the karmic maybe to work, maybe to friends, maybe to, you know, another you know, casual connection. But what he's seeing is that the connection between him and this third party is, I got to have faith in my dreams. I got to focus. And right now that means I got to communicate with my karmic. I'm in between two things. I can't be in this third party connection and put my toes in here and still be in this one. So I'm going to block the third party connection too. Right? So this is very interesting. It just feels like he's finally ending not only karmic cycles and running from a karmic to a third party, a third party to the karmic after the karmic ends, go, let me go back to my feminine. He's ending that running around because he's starting to see that all I do is I refuse to face reality. I need to spend some time alone. So this karmic and the third party situation is teaching him, hold on, I got to focus. I have to communicate with the karmic. I don't want to be in between things again. I don't want to be in between relationships again. I'm done with that energy. I'm going to block that energy. So what do I need to do? I'm going to walk away from the karmic. I'm going to walk away from the third party. There's grief here, three of swords. There's grief here, three of swords. He's not happy with anybody. Right? His energy towards the third party, three of swords. His energy towards the karmic, three of swords. Energy towards the feminine, my whole world's falling apart. My whole world's falling apart. 
prosperity was with my feminine. And now that the third party connection is over, the karmic connection is over, I'm starting to see that I ruined a divine connection. So he's plotting his return to his feminine because he's finally broken free of his own crap, of his own hallucination, of his own karmic cycle, and he's reflecting. Oh my God, you can't make this up. So victory's here for this twin flame union, but he's got to sit in this, people. Masculines, you have to sit in this. Sit in the energy of the end of your karmic cycle and the end of your uh, third party cycles. Spend some time alone and see what you're doing. Reflect and then return when you're ready to embody the emperor. You can't make this up. If you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day. Bye.